Uh, we have a little like a uh, army man type of person in there. Shows the sun's path on this particular day, March 21st in Valencia, New York. And then there's a series of questions. Some, it often is asked to measure the angle uh, of the sun at solar noon right there. This, we use this as well to uh, calculate the hours of sunlight, the apparent movement of the sun of 15 degrees per hour. Students do that. Um, that's one of the stations. There's a bunch of stations here. I'll just show some. This is station five. What's this? This is New York, June 21st, summer solstice. Uh, did my best to draw the path. Not great. Very hard to draw, especially the, right, the correct length. Get in the correct length to show the hours of sunlight is very tricky. This one, I kind of added after the fact, realizing it's good to have all three paths on one, uh, on one sphere and shows the different uh, sunset locations. And, and there's other ones there. So for instance, I like having this, how it shows. This is the North Pole on June 21st. And it shows uh, uh, the sun's path here. And students, you know, often to figure out how many hours of sunlight do they get that day, 24 hours. So, you know, with a lot of different stations, there's a lot that uh, you can do with this. And this uh, works pretty well. Here is one uh, station of a seasons lab that we have. Um, you can see the three lights set up on this wood contraption that I built. Um, and then there is another, uh, like a wooden block right here. It has a compass rose on it as well. And uh, the idea, this is more about the sun's path during a particular day. And uh, this is a series of questions that, has stu that have students like turn on the morning sun, and it talks about where the sun is, and then the uh, can really show them the, the shadow goes opposite, and the sun low in the sky, longer shadow, which kids always seem to have trouble with. And then the noontime sun, due south, uh, a shorter shadow, again, higher in the sky with the sun and the shadow shorter, so they have to do that. Um, and then afternoon sun, it shows the sun is in the general uh, southwest area, and then the, the shadow is longer um, and uh, goes towards the northeast or general northeast area. So this is a station that, uh, you know, works pretty well for us. Uh, students, you know, really, it really helps them to see it and, um, you know, it's, it's a decent hands-on uh, part to uh, a lab that uh, can be very difficult to make hands-on being seasons.